Greetings, dear readers. Today, we embark on an exploration into the intricate realm inhabited by narcissists, navigating the tumultuous waters of their emotional landscape once their victims break free from their influence. Before delving deeper, I extend a heartfelt invitation for you to become part of our ever-expanding community. Simply click the A subscribe A button to join us. By taking this step, you not only safeguard yourself from the anxieties plaguing narcissists upon your departure, but you also equip yourself with the insights necessary to navigate this complex journey. Let us traverse this path together. Contrary to common belief, the prevailing notion is that narcissists remain unaffected when their victims emancipate themselves from their grasp. They often exude an aura of unshakable confidence and self-assurance, creating the illusion of imperviousness. However, it's imperative to recognize that while we may generalize about narcissistic behavior, each individual's encounter can diverge significantly. When someone catches a narcissist off guard and breaks free, it strikes at the very core, unleashing a tempest of emotions that ravage them from within. It's essential to clarify that this discourse does not advocate for granting second chances or sway your decisions. Rather, it illuminates the reality that even narcissists experience anguish upon being abandoned. Acknowledging this doesn't diminish the validity of your choice. Through your pain, you exhibited courage by opting to depart. Now, let's face the truth as it really is. You were in unbearable pain because narcissists threw you through an emotional tornado that left you hurt and beaten. You had to deal with the terrible effects of what they did, how they clearly didn't trust you, and how they kept crossing limits that should have been respected in your relationship. Because of these terrible events, you decided e enough is enough. It was your choice to end the pain you were going through because you put your health, freedom, and happiness first. Now is the time to start a trip that will heal you and help you learn more about yourself. Get back your sense of self and find the inner strength that you already have. Narcissists often are caught off guard when they find out that you've decided to leave and cut all ties with them. Changing the key to your life is like doing that. You have to do it to protect yourself. When they realize you're really gone, a lot of them go through tough times. At first, they might try to ignore the truth and tell themselves it's just another normal breakup. They don't think it's important because they see it as a temporary setback. As the weight of your exit hits you, though, your denial slowly gives way to shock. As they try to come to terms with the fact that you have indeed left, a wave of confusion washes over them, leaving them lost and confused. As soon as the truth sets in, the blame game starts. Narcissists get very angry and start making charges against you, saying you never really loved or cared about them. Their anger grows as they wonder how you could leave them in such a way. They might even compare themselves to people who have left them, which makes them feel even worse. When you look into the complicated relationships between narcissists, you find an interesting truth. The narcissist's quick move to new attention sources doesn't erase the feelings they once had for you. Freeing yourself from the ties of a past relationship is not an easy task. It's not as easy as flipping a switch. We've all moved on with our lives, but some of us are still dealing with feelings for ex-partners. Even when you're with someone new, your mind may wander to old loves, making you feel nostalgic and longing. This is why some narcissists rush into new relationships, trying to get away from the bad feelings they have about their past. However, it is undeniable that these strongly held feelings are still not dealt with or voiced. People who brag about their new relationships bring up unfinished business from their past. It's confusing to realize that narcissists act out because they are going through a lot of deep emotional turmoil, even when they dump you and quickly find new sources of validation or act upset about your exit. I want to make one thing very clear. I'm not telling you this to trick or shame you into thinking twice about a bad relationship. This is not true at all. In that case, I'm not calling for a return. Narcissists go through a range of emotions when they see how far you've come. Confusion, regret, and finally anger. Because they are so angry, they can't stop sending you texts, calling you non-stop, and visiting you without warning. At the same time, they look for new ways to get attention. When keeping your distance, 
It's important to remember that narcissists don't feel shame. Instead, they find reasons for what they do. In their strange world, they might say they've moved on since you left, but they really want you to come back. To control you, they'll do anything, even become obsessed with you. In addition, if their tricks don't work, their anger gets worse. It's important to remember that noticing these patterns shouldn't make you doubt your decisions or the chance of rekindling a bad relationship. Your freedom is the most important thing. Be firm in your choice to break free and put your health first. Gather a strong group of people who can help you and start the process of healing and getting to know yourself. When talking to a narcissist who is angry, be careful because they can become very unstable at any time. You couldn't just tell them you were leaving if you ever needed to get away from their influence, because even the smallest hint of your happiness or success without them could set off a dangerous chain of events. When it finally gets away from them, their carefully built image starts to fall apart, leaving them confused and lost. This departure from their carefully planned story often makes them even more angry, and they try to put the blame on you. During this trip, it's important to remember that even in their most extreme reactions, there may be bits of truth. On the other hand, being in a relationship with a narcissist at this level is like crossing dangerous water. You should be ready for their emotional storms to reach unimaginable heights because they like to push the limits to the very limit. Get ready for a harsh truth. Narcissists could fall deeply into depression when you left their lives. Some people might try to trick others by saying scary things like, yeah, my despair may lead to a tragic end. In these situations, carrying this load by myself wasn't a choice. Help from a mental health crisis number or calling the right people for a wellness check was required right away. Getting professional help was the most important thing you could do to protect your safety and well-being, because stepping in could make you look like the next target. The most important thing to learn from this was to always put your safety and health first. Even though empathy and kindness were good qualities, it was just as important to make sure you had the strength and help you needed to deal with a narcissist whose world was falling apart. When they do this, they could become unpredictable and even dangerous. Even though their signs of distress seemed real, they didn't lead to better care or personal growth. Instead, they showed how scared they were of living without you and how much they hate being alone. That was the most important thing. So, if you ever told the narcissist you were going to leave, you had to be ready for them to throw you into a storm of mental chaos. As it turns out, their mental instability could get out of hand. Being alert was very important, and if their instability got out of hand, being ready to act, even if it meant involving the police, was necessary. It was most important that you were safe and healthy. If you were involved with this kind of person and had children together, you were ready for the chance that they would use the kids against you by manipulating them to hurt your feelings. It was a terrible truth that had to be acknowledged. As this story comes to an end, let's stress how important it is to stay informed and connected. It's a move that will get back at an ego in the best way possible. Have you ever wished you could get back at a narcissist? We can give in to the temptation, but does it really meet our need for justice? Most of the time, it makes us feel empty and helpless, like we can't do anything about the harmful narcissistic influence. Keeping our distance and putting our own progress first are the real solutions. But it's impossible to resist the urge to fight back, a hopeless attempt to regain the power that the narcissist took away. In all of this chaos, we forget about the third part of ourselves, the anger and pain that are building up. The world often doesn't notice the pain we're going through, leaving us to deal with it on our own. But here's the thing. Let your anger out. That strong feeling says a lot about how strong and resilient you are. It's the first step toward freedom from the narcissist's control and a chance to find a better version of yourself. But be careful because anger that isn't controlled can be just as bad. It's time to change our story, take back our power, and start living again. Move forward, each step making you stronger. Understanding your feelings and using that energy to help you beat those who want to hurt you is important. When someone is narcissistic, they can't break the spirit of someone with a strong soul. We've all been smothered by a narcissist's control, 
as a flood of feelings and hurts came down on us. Our stories of quiet pain may make us seem alone, but they connect us because they are based on the same experience. Let's work together, share our stories, and support each other. We can get through this sea of sadness together and come out stronger. Come along with us. Talk about how you've changed your feelings for the better, and get ideas from each other's experiences. Trying to hide your anger is never the answer. Why do we try to keep our anger in? We put up with this social pressure by hiding how we really feel behind fake smiles and agreements. Society tells us to put up walls and hide our feelings deep inside, all in the name of being mature. But can holding back our anger really stop a narcissist from being cruel? Is it good to be forced to hide our feelings behind a front of fake politeness? We need to take back what is rightly ours, the freedom to feel. Trying to control our anger only makes things worse and makes us feel helpless, exposed, and vulnerable. We need to understand that holding on to anger is a sign of power and fervor, not weakness. Let's not let the narcissist schemes consume us. Instead, let's use our energy in a positive way. When we understand the narcissist's plan, we see that they want to take away all of our respect, independence, and sense of self-worth. They want to keep us in a state of chaos by making us doubt our worth and limits and making us afraid to stand up for ourselves. They want to make us look like doormats because they want power and want to stay in charge. Narcissists are dangerous enemies because they are afraid of losing control. Our confidence and boldness make them nervous. These people try to take over every part of our lives by intimidating us and manipulating us. They do this by taking over our sense of self-worth. They are very dangerous enemies because they want power so badly. Let's get past our need for revenge. It's tempting to give in to the urge to hurt the narcissist back for the pain they've caused us, which would only make our anger worse. Seeking revenge, on the other hand, will only make our pain worse and make it last longer. Let's instead work on getting better and healing. Allow ourselves to feel angry, but let's use that anger to make things better. The best way to fight back against a narcissist's abuse is to put our own happiness first. Having a happy life even though they are trying to hurt us shows how strong and resilient we are. We should always try to use our energy in a good way. Getting revenge only keeps our souls from getting the food they need. We can truly enjoy life the way we deserve to by letting love fill our hearts and keeping a smile on our faces even when things go wrong. Tell us your stories. Let's start this growth path together. Tell us what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching my video and remember to hit the like button. Thanks for being here. Let's move forward with love and energy.